Hello everyone, my name is David and today I'm going to show you how to print your USPS labels using your thermal printer or an ArcScan printer. So usually USPS doesn't allow you to print 4x6 labels but if you do try to use like eBay they give you the option to print your with 4x6. So today I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial how you can print your labels without having to use a third-party software so this will be from the USPS website as you see here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna download your label once you've purchased it and it should look something similar to this so once you've purchased your label and downloaded it it should look just like this except it's gonna be in a PDF form so what we're gonna do to begin we're gonna to use our snippings. So we're going to press the Windows key and we're going to search for snip. And we're going to go for our first or a snipping tool. And once we are in our snipping tool area, we're just going to get the part we need. So we're going to press new and we're going to highlight what we need. So just a little bit above the edge. I'm going to drag it over it just a little bit below as well need a little bit of padding around it and that looks good and now we got our snip we're going to press ctrl c on our keyboard and that's going to give us a copy so I press ctrl c and now I'm going to open up my word document So now that we are inside our Microsoft processor, Word processor, we're going to go straight over to Layout. I'm already there. So you would start off at the home. We're going to go directly to Layout. And now we're going to change our size of our document. So we're going to go over here, click the 4x6 because we're trying to print with the 4x6 label. Um, if you're printing with a different size, I'm sure you probably could find the size you're looking for. But for us, we're using the Arc Scan, and it's going to be a 4x6 label. And we're going to press Control V because we copied the doc, our copy. So uh, we're going to click Layout, click Behind Text, and now we can move this a lot more freely. If you are trying to move it and it's not moving so great, it's probably because it's in uh, in line or something very difficult to move so make sure this is in layout or behind text and now that it's behind text we're gonna start to just track this and make sure it's as fill out all these spots as much as possible just trying to get it to fill everything up make sure the top is right and make sure this is good as well and that looks perfect and once you have your label like this the only thing that's left is to print so you would go over and go to print and you would select your your thermal printer whether it's arc scan or whatever it is you would select your printer and basically you just press print and you should have your label so this is a very good method so you don't have to use any other softwares I've seen a few when I first before I figured this out there was like people recommending to use different softwares to buy your labels so you don't have to use a different software to buy your labels just buy it through the official USPS.com and then you can just cut cut the label snip it and paste it in Microsoft Word and you can just print it here it's not going to be perfect. Once you print it, it's going to suffer a little bit of uh, quality loss, but usually the label still works properly. Um, if someone else figured it out, maybe they can share. And that is all. I hope I was able to help someone, at least you know, give you some hints or tips and tricks, help save you some money, so or you know, headache having to get a third-party software. Again, my name is David, and I thank you for watching. Have a good night, everyone.